Hey there, welcome to this Spiffy tutorial. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the Spiffy e-commerce settings and how to set a default homepage for your Infusionsoft storefront. This has been a long anticipated uh, feature and a big pain point for Infusionsoft customers for a very long time. Um, this is the mobile optimized Spiffy shopping cart storefront. And the big pain point has been that when you leverage Infusionsoft's product categories, it actually removes the product from the storefront homepage. So for example here, and I'll show you exactly how this works, we have five products in here, and if I want to link to all of my products, but also have my products in categories and tabs in my storefront, that's just not possible. So in here you'll see Spiffy, um, under the Spiffy category. We have our subscriptions in here and a Spiffy shirt, but there's no way for me to have any of these products both in the Spiffy category and on my homepage. Same thing with our Spiffy e-commerce upgrade. I can't have this product, once this product is added to a category, it automatically removes itself from the homepage. So the workaround for this um, is to actually create a category and take that category URL so in order to get that category URL, you'd first add the category, come in here, and just take this URL. You can see it changes to category ID 7, and you'd simply copy and paste that URL for that home category into Infusion, or sorry, into your Spiffy account under your shopping cart settings. So it's that Infusionsoft URL, you come in here, copy and paste it in right there. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set all of that up, and it'll be very, very simple, but that's the overview. So again, we're gonna set up a e-commerce category called home. We're gonna call that category home, which is gonna automatically add that product category to your shopping cart. We're gonna take that URL and paste that right into your Spiffy account. But first, let me show you how when you add a product to a category, how it removes it from the home page. So we're gonna take this order form build out basic. I have that product right here, order form build out basic, and we're just gonna simply add that to the Spiffy category and then hit save. Now I'm gonna go back here to the e-commerce storefront. So again, this is the this is the homepage, the storefront of my e-commerce uh, storefront, and I'm gonna hit refresh. And now that product does not show up on the storefront page, but it will show up here. So uh, again, I just wanted to show you that when you add a product to a category, it removes it from the home of your Infusionsoft storefront, your shopping cart and e-commerce store. So if I come back in here, take that Spiffy category off, hit save, come back here, hit refresh, now it appears again. Now, again, this the crux of this is to add a category and add this product to both the home category and the Spiffy category. So just to kind of show you how that works, hit Spiffy and Spiffy e-commerce, hit save, come back here, and that product will now show up under Spiffy and Spiffy e-commerce. So you can have a product added to multiple tabs or multiple categories, but once it's added to a single category, it is removed from the homepage. All right, so let's get the category set up and I'll walk you through the entire process. So the first step is to come under e-commerce, e-commerce setup. Over here on the left-hand side, under categories, click that link. And we're gonna click this green button over here on the right and add a home category. And we're gonna hit save. We're gonna to wanna to drag this home category all the way up to the top there so it displays first in the shopping cart storefront and uh, it automatically saves and everything. So now we're gonna come back to the storefront, just make sure it loads, and now we have this home category on our storefront. I'm gonna click that home category, and it'll be blank because we haven't added any products yet. And as you can see up here in this, this URL is that home category URL. So this is the direct link to that home category, and we're gonna copy this link, go over into your Spiffy account, and when you upgrade your shopping cart to Spiffy e-commerce, you're gonna have this extra settings module here, up here at the top of your Spiffy account, of your Spiffy dashboard. Click edit, scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see this custom home category. And we're just gonna paste that URL right in there. So as you can see here, I copied this home URL that we just created, this home category URL, 
and I'm gonna paste it right there in the Spiffy e-commerce settings. I'm gonna hit save. And now, when I go back to the home page, it automatically sets a redirect to go to this category ID 13. So this closes a backdoor loophole that a lot of people don't know about when it comes to Infusionsoft shopping cart. Everybody has that URL. Let me take this off really quick just to show you the backdoor loophole. We're gonna hit save, come back over here. So everybody has this homepage loophole where every single Infusionsoft customer has this same URL for their storefront. And by default, every single product you create is added to the storefront, unless within that product, you click on every single product, say, hidden from storefront. If you click this and I hit save, that product will not show up in the storefront. But if that is left unchecked, all products will show up in the storefront. So this is a little, what people call kind of a backdoor security issue is when people don't take the extra step to check that box, if somebody knows your Infusionsoft app ID, I'm just gonna go to a random one here, then they can have access to potentially some of your test products that you have set up for $0, where somebody could technically come in here and purchase a product and have it shipped to them um, or get access to an online course for free because they know this and they came and found one of your test uh, test order forms or test products, purchased it and got access or uh, got that product for free or at a you know $1 or a steep discount. So what the, what the solution for Spiffy does is it makes this page impossible to get to. So we set a redirect where anybody that tries to get to the, to the home page of your storefront, they'll automatically be redirected right to that category page. So again, coming back in here, pasting that category ID name in there, hit save. We'll go back to our storefront. And now that home page that I just showed you, it's just not possible to, to get to that. So again, if I, if I try to go back to our app, which is PB227, and I try to access the same exact page that has all of our products listed, it's going to automatically redirect to that home URL that I just set. So category ID, there's just no way to get to it. So the next step is going to be to make sure to add all the products in our app to that category. Now, the easiest way to do that is to do it all at once, which you can go under products and you can see your entire products list and you would just come in here and you would select all the products that you wanna add to your shopping cart homepage. Um, now, I'm just gonna add a couple here uh, just for example purposes. I'll add shopping cart upgrade, basic build out and annual upgrade. So you can come in here, you can select as many as you want. You come over here to actions, click mass update products. And then I think it's all at the bottom here. Yep, all at the bottom. Second one from the bottom, click add product to categories. And we're gonna wanna add those products that we just selected to the home category. I'm gonna process action. And it'll take a second for this to process. Okay, we're good to go. Come back here to the storefront. I'm going to hit refresh. And now those four products I selected are in the home storefront and they're also in their respective categories. So you can see order form build out and the t-shirt and the annual upgrade are all under the spiffy category and under the home page. And then also the spiffy e-commerce packages on the spiffy e-commerce page as well as the home page. So again, this is the easiest way to get around that small nuance and that bug in Infusionsoft where products cannot be added to the the storefront homepage and also be in a category. So with the Spiffy e-commerce package, you can set that default URL to the category, create a home category, and have products show up both in your Infusionsoft storefront and in a product category. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at support at ghostspiffy.com. We're here to help. If you're not yet a Spiffy customer, uh, go to ghostspiffy.com, hit the pricing page, select an account. You have 30 days to give us a uh, test drive risk-free. So sign up for an account today, get started with us, and if it's not a good fit, simply ask for your money back and we'll re refund your money promptly. But we're uh, really confident that you'll love Spiffy and you'll be able to create some great looking order forms and also optimize your shopping cart for mobile checkouts and 
patch some of these uh, these issues that have been lingering for a while. Hope you're having a great day. Take care.